Hey everybody, it's Tack Comics. Um, I just wanted to shoot a quick video, <clears throat> uh, kind of do it a uh, Pope Cerebus the First style. <laughs> um, if you guys all want to see the artwork I did for him, um, go check out his new, new and latest video. It's great, man. He shows some great pickups that he picked up, um, and he's going to probably put on another video. But I'll definitely try to link that video to this one. But I figured, hey man, I'm going to show some of the books I just picked up uh, the other day. Um, this one right here, it's got some water damage to it, but I'm going to send this out, or actually go hand it, hopefully hand deliver it to, uh, to Little Comics and see if you can do some pressing on this one for me. And with this one too, so you can do some pressing, because I'm going to go down to California pretty soon. Um, picked up this one here too, Brave and Bold, Batman and Man Bat. Um, picked up Masters of Kung Fu, 96, my exact cover. I'm going to try to um, start grabbing these now. Just mainly all the Mike Zek covers first for Masters of Kung Fu. And then I'll go from there. Um, there's another Mike Zek. Another Mike Zek. Another Mike Zek cover. <laughs> and this one, I already have um, this one from Mike Zek. And I didn't get him to sign the one I already have, but that one has that little slash through the uh, barcode. So I don't think my other one does. So it'd be cool to get them both signed by him. I did pick up an X-Men Classic for my run, number 33. And I picked up number 53. And then I grabbed uh, <clears throat> Wolverine and the X-Men Alpha Omega, number two. I read number one, and let me tell you, number one was great. It's a great story, and this is the, uh, you know, the second issue, of course. So I haven't read this one yet. I can't wait to though, because the first one was really good. Uh, then I found an Annie Granot cover for X Men Legacy, uh, right there. So I don't think I need. I think I'm only missing just a few more covers for that uh, run of X Men of Annie Granot covers. And this one was on my pull list. Astonishing X Men number twelve. And, okay, that'd be it. Those are just all my other books I'm trying to organize. And I did pick up some books, though, at Goodwill. So maybe I'll show that another time. Um, yes, I got them in here. These are just books that I have to uh, organize and set up. <laughs> so I don't know if I have them in here or not. Really stimpy. <laughs> maybe they're in here. Let me see. Sorry about the pants. Those are my work pants. And I'm trying to hold the camera with my hand. Let me see, I'm going to put them in here. So I'll make this video too long. Let me see if I come. Oh, okay, I think this is where I'm coming up to. There, well, see, so this is the first issue. I read that. It's really great, man. Um, that character in the back right there, he's basically the villain in this book because uh, he hates Wolverine because Wolverine basically made him go to a school to further his training, you know, with his abilities. He's a telepathic, or he's telepathic, basically. He can, you know, like, you know, he thinks he's the best, though, at it. You know, he thinks he's better than Professor Xavier and uh, Jean Grey, you know, but... Uh, cause he gets inside Wolverine's mind and really s screws him big time. Uh, but this one I picked up for 50 cents. Wolverine number 10. Um, gosh. Nope, that's like the rest. I grabbed a bunch of, um, Valiant. Oh, here we go. Let's see, I was trying to organize it. I picked up a Savage Dragon number 3. Ray Bradbury comics, tops. Shadowhawk number two. This is, I believe, a Shadowhawk number one. It's uh, number two. Nice cover. Love that cover. Uh, I figured I'd give this one a shot. Savage Dragon number one. Archer and Armstrong number three. Number two. Number one, all for 50 cents. Number zero, except for that Wolverine, I paid a buck for it, but you know, not a big deal. Number four, um, number one of Unity. Number 
number zero. It's number one of Park Forks. Oh yeah, and that's a book that uh, my buddy, Pope Sarah Bistoppers sent to me. So I still gotta read that one. He also sent me that book. This book, I showed in a video before, but man, I still gotta read a few of these books. I started reading this one and I gotta finish it. It's pretty good, man. I mean, Edgar Allan Poe stuff, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. And that's just some other books. All right, I hope everybody's having a great day. And like I said, I'll try to link uh, Pope Cerebus the First's video <clears throat> to this one so you guys can go check it out. That's not mine. <laughs> but I hope everybody's having a great day. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get another video out before I go down to California. If not, it's all good. Oh yeah, and I got those from Davis. Still haven't cracked them open yet and read them. But I will. <laughs> I definitely will. These are sweet books. All right, everybody, take care. This is Tech Comics saying... Rock on.